There we go. Bam. Yeah, this is a this is a major cringe alert, and we're gonna open this up and we're gonna take a watch of this because we need to go through this a little bit. Um, but again, I just want you to recognize that there's a huge problem in the framing, and the framing is 99% of this shit because right wingers, especially ones who don't have a particular interest in learning about trans issues or anything or trans politics in any way, shape, or form, they love to play with framing. No one's gonna like. Tons of people are not going to watch this video or pay attention to anything that's in it or think about anything that's in it. Um, and as you'll see, this this video doesn't have a whole lot of substance in it. Um, but just keep in mind this framing. Lesbian leaves the progressive left. Does Arielle Sarcella, and anything we've even touched on today, in her hanging out with Blair White, uh, propagating right-wing talking points, um, giving a pass and not any pushback to blatantly transphobic shit that is put out in... Uh, online, she is very, she, you know, she has literally retweeted Graham Linehan before, and we all know how that guy is. So she was never a member of the progressive left. Let's be real about that. It would be hard to even say that she's a progressive, let alone a leftist. So there's the framing. This is, this is, this is this whole thing where a conservative like Dave Rubin, for example, um, pretends that they were ever progressive in the first place, um, and then leaves the movement they were never a part of in order to like create the the image that they're that there's like something wrong with it it's so much posturing and that's like we've we've talked about this like on almost all of my streams that I've done so far how much so much of the right is just fucking posturing it's not even substance again what this should really say is steven crowder lesbian pretends to leave progressive left interview that's what this should really say. Because Stephen Crowder didn't change anybody's mind. Yeah. Oh, that's actually what she ends up... Yeah, exactly. Let's watch this a little bit. Let's see. I got to get the audio levels a little balanced. Tell me if it's too loud or too quiet once I get this started. Woman. Like, that's not how it works. Like, as a woman. Like, that's not how it works. There's To me, it, it's not an identity. It's an experience. Ariel, how are you? <laughs> but thank you for making hmm. the, the time here today. Hmm. Hmm. You are in... Uh, you're in Australia right now, correct? Yeah. Yeah, I was, yeah, here David for, was, I was invited nice. here from Mardi Gras. Um, Mardi and, Gras in Australia. Is there yeah, a big Mardi Gras? Yeah. They have a lot of beads? I, get, I don't know. This is it, so it, cringe. It's like considered like the LGBT pride here, I guess. So okay. they invited oh. me um, hmm. to do a That's panel. Wow. Yeah, right? <laughs> but that's and, not gay at all. Well, Mardi Gras is usually straight women showing their breasts <laughs> for yeah. beads. I know, in America. But who mm. Hmm. Man, this is some cringe. <laughs> Good luck on the plains of the free speech battlefield. But I mean, already we've got this sort of like, I mean, this is like, this is like 90s, like banter. Like this is what you would expect, like your, your fucking uncles in the 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh man, I've got this. I've got her on the ropes. And, and I will tell you, oh, does he have her on the ropes? Yeah, my face when thinking of boobies. He sure does love that. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's like Howard Stern, like gawking, like. It's like this, like, <laughs> why the fuck would lesbians be, I mean, I guess they like tits too, right? <laughs> like, it's that kind of shit. And like, but I mean, look, I mean, it's fucking happening right here. There's like nothing yeah, of substance. Here, <laughs> Which I like both, right? Yes, but, um, yes, exactly. Two of I'm your favorite things. <laughs> it is breasts <laughs> and cheap costume jewelry. But yeah, I mean, we there we go different. already. So like, she's just going to knock by it. Um, yep. Hey. There we go. There's some news. Thank you, Voltaire. Thanks for dropping in some of the news. COVID-19 con containment area. Well, we got a we got one mile contained. That's got a lot to go. We got a whole lot to go. Um, panel and uh, there was, believe it or not, a I think female to male drag queen. Um, that yeah. So like, look at this. The entire beginning of this video is just like sort of like vaguely like motioning that like oh you should be grossed out by that you should find that gross you should not like this um and then you also have like keep in mind imagine loving money more than self-respect or respect for the lgbt yeah female to male drag queen no no it, it's nonsense you can't even get into the specifics this is just them saying things they're saying words that they know the audience of steven crowder would react to now keep in mind steven crowder is in charge of this was posted on her channel but Steven Crowder's totally in charge of this. He he starts with talking about the oh tits and 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 costume jewelry. They open up talking about Mardi Gras. I don't know if you guys are aware, but the right wing used the sort of um, supposed like 
sexual frivolity of, of, of queer people as a weapon for decades. And they're immediately dipping into this. These decades old uh, weird stereotypes. And it's already popping out. And this is in the first 52 seconds of the video. Made a petition on change.org to get me taken off of the Mardi Gras website because, quote, I'm a transphobe and a horrible person oh. and a turf and all these things. Oh. Um, and I was going to post the video of mine that went viral on Twitter anyway, and it just made me want to post it even more. Yes. For people this is that meme. This is that meme where it's like, oh, someone insulted me, so I no longer believe in, in human rights. Um, she got she got a personal in a personal feud with apparently what sh what what Ariel Scarcella says is a female to male drag queen whatever okay I'm not gonna I don't care to I don't know whatever her personal squabble that she's had um, resulted in yeah mean tweets I guess I hate Medicare for all yeah exactly it's like oh someone rightfully said that I was a turf which she is and don't worry we'll get there. Um, rightfully said that she was a turf and probably shouldn't be showing up at a pro-gay festival that's talking about fucking, I mean, obviously there's a lot more going on there, whatever, but it's clearly a very pro-gay event. Um, and they, and they don't want a turf talking there because as it turns out, gay people and trans people, there are a lot of gay trans people and there are a lot of overlaps between those communities. So she's just come on here to spend the first like minute of the show whining about her own personal squabble with somebody. We'll try to deplatform a quote basic lesbian, right? Everybody's yeah. gonna be all these other identities now to be able to speak. But well, I don't even have that. You're just a lesbian. Oh yeah, remember, keep in mind, yeah, you got to be all these other identities in order to speak. In order to speak. And this video, well, actually, oh, this is pretty embarrassing. This video's only got 32,000 views, but I bet Steven Crowder's side of it's got a whole lot more. But I don't know. She's got she's talking to 32,000 people right now. I don't think anybody's actually uh, suppressing her free pe her free speech in any way. She just they just don't want her to show up at their panel because she's been a fucking asshole on the internet. It's not that hard to understand, right? <sighs> You're just a lesbian. You're not allowed to talk about it. I'm the yeah. basic bitch of the male world, and that I am just yeah. a white American <laughs> mutt. What? And he just recently mm -hmm. did a video uh, entitled "I'm a, a, a I'm a lesbian and I'm leaving the insane progressive left." Give a little a little briefer for people who maybe aren't necessarily super familiar with you, which could be a significant portion of the show. I've been making videos uh, LGBT. I'm a, like an OG lesbian YouTuber. I've been making videos <laughs> on YouTube. Here we go. Literally for yeah, OG for ten years, like since 2009. I was like the second wave of people that were started making content on YouTube. Um, yeah, by the way, she used I've to be the host of a show, a show that parted ways with her because she got in so many fights with people online and was so transphobic online that they couldn't keep doing the videos, that they couldn't, they, the, the audience was fucking pissed. And you're going to see this in just a second. Watch this. I never, ever got hate from straight people until oh. recently. You know, pe people that I, I think, you know, are, are just mentally unwell. Um, the that second are now, wave, I know. You know literally, uh, literally, she even uh, this is is was probably written into her little little notes here because the 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 fucking right wingers they love they love to gesture towards the second wave of feminism and it's like it it's this old meme again it's a meme they love to push for some reason they're just like oh yeah I'm like oh yeah I'm like from the second wave despite the fact that the second wave was incredibly radical as well but they ignore that part and they like to say oh well i was part of that and now i'm not you know now i'm now i don't belong in these new waves of feminism and these new waves of lgbt and that's literally all she's doing here is just crying and nodding um i mean i don't know uh i don't know how deep the transphobia was in the second in second wave feminism i mean there was um there are certainly some second wave feminists now who are turfs i don't know I don't know enough about like the 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 like overall movements association. I don't know even how helpful that information would be. I don't know um, again how deep transphobia runs in the second wave movement. Um, but but what I do know is that the term second wave is literally plastered all over these types. This like theme of videos, these like LGBT person, feminist, Lacey Green, 
did this kind of shit. Do you remember that? Do you remember Lacey Green? Remember when she was like a progressive YouTuber and then she did like a swing to the right because I don't even remember why. It's ridiculous. Like, but this is the shit they do. They fucking grift. They fucking signal to actual ra radical movements and pretend that they were once a part of it. Ariel Scaricella was never a part of any fucking radical movement. She had a YouTube show. She was not an OG lesbian of anything. That's bullshit. Not only is it bullshit, it's also cringe. Uh, the identity of, of being queer just for like oppression points or because they like dressing hmm. differently. Damn, these um, sound familiar, don't they? Or not, those Some of the these sound really familiar, don't the they? Most hate from. Not, uh, not actual lesbians not actual <laughs> transgender women oh, right. unless they're like older so weird a who's an actual lesbian hmm? hmm hmm got some got some dog whistles coming in here we got some we got some old not even trans er era dog whistles we've got gold star lesbian shit going on here do you hear that shit did you hear that shit y'all are hearing this right sometimes the older trans women you know have entitlement issues um, <laughs> I'm not familiar. Oh, marinara! It, it gets worse. It's a thing. It's you had never really encountered any any before you went to the um, you know leaving the left, which we'll get to politically. Mm -hmm. But um, you said you hadn't really encountered straight people hating you. Now, what do you mean by that? Because typically, right. in my experience, straight men uh, mm. tend to be fans of lesbians or movie lesbians. Yeah, the the yeah. idea of lesbians. Oh, oh. yeah. Well, I, I've never. I honestly, very very rarely get an movie actual lesbians? creepy older or creepy guy creepy straight guy on my page okay like the most they can the most they'll say is like oh you look hot like i'm a lesbian too and I'm all right all right come on now i'm like shut up like you're an idiot <laughs> but like i like i joke back with them you know and i troll them oh back, but he loves and, like, this shit and they like they appreciate he loves that. this shit how, deal with them. how progressive um, i know how progressive and they've always been nice like i think a lot of the straight guys that watch me watch me because they want to learn more about women Right. Because my channel is not just about lesbians. It's about women. It's about how to please women, how to talk to women, how to date women. Um, you and know. You, and do you feel like you have an inside uh, inside skinny on that because you are uh, because you like women, but you're also a woman, so you? Can oh my God! That. Yeah. Oh yeah. We know. We know best. Uh, that's that's the truth. Look we, at how cringe we, this is. You can't get better than someone that has the same equipment as this you. This is literally you. shit. That like like I literally I swear to God this is like uncle shit. This is like weird uncle shit. They're like, hey, I'm a lesbian too. <laughs> anyway, I guess, I guess it proves it. The one lesbian in the family who gets like singled out by your uncle and the uncle is just like, oh yeah, I guess, guess you don't know. I guess knowing your own equipment is the best way to do it. <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, oh God, what the fuck? This is, and, and she's just sitting here nodding for what? For clout because she's a fucking grifter. Look People at the shit. how to use it. Like, yeah, it seems like an unfair I, I advantage. Have, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, it is. But, I mean, we're both, <laughs> women are crazy, so Wah. is it really an advantage? Wah. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I want to get to a few of the specific comments. Women are crazy. <laughs> be hopefully enlightened and informed by you. Uh, but was there, you did this video. You're coming out, uh, leaving the progressive left, the crazy left. Was there a specific yeah, exactly, moment like a flash of genius? Because like you said, you've been a, a, an LGBTQ sort of centric creator for a, a good long while here. Um, but did you ever have a flash where you said, all right, this has gone too far? Oh, yeah. When when people started telling me that it was transphobic for me to to say that I like vaginas and boobs. How, wait, how is that, that, that transphobic? transphobic? It's See, not. and here's the meme again. Here we go. Right back to what I was talking about. This is something that we've been show that we've been fucking talking about forever with her. She always characterizes it like this, despite the fact that I've literally been there when people are going, it's not transphobic for you to have genital preference. It's transphobic for you to say, I date real women. Which is what this fucker always says. She says, she literally just said it five seconds ago. She doesn't even have the cover of like being like, oh, I'm weird on terminology. No, she just straight up says, oh, I only date real women. And if you say that that's saying that is transphobic, then I'm going to say it's about vaginas. It's so fucking stupid. When I saw the 10th SJW cringe compilation, I knew the left went too far. Snowdrift, you, the, the video that she did, the video that she did on leaving the left is an SJW cringe compilation. She literally just took a bunch of vines of like young queer people and put them in her video to make them, to try and make them look stupid and like dunk on their appearance and shit. It's really fucking bad. And I want, I just want to note, by the way, I just want to note, Ariel Saracella is not fucking, this, she's like, she says here, she's in her 30s, like, 
Yo, hate fucking ages you. If we're going to be on that playing field, hate fucking ages you. Look at this shit. Um, so they, so they she looks like she's like 50. Let me ask this. What was their justification in saying that you, basically expressing what every yeah. lesbian has since the women's liberation movement, what, right. would, what would you, let's play devil's advocate here. What do you mm -hmm. think they would argue was transphobic about oh, yeah. your stance? I, I know what they say. They okay. say that, that it's transphobic because you're reducing what? women to their genitals. Hmm. That's, that's their basic thing. And that you're saying trans women true. aren't real women if you don't find them attractive. And my ah, answer to that, there goes the lie. There goes the sneaky. The PC, but also a very real answer was lesbians don't find every type of woman attractive. Yes. Or every woman attractive. Mm. Oh, oh, you know what? That's true. That's true. I also don't find every woman attractive. But guess what? I also don't imply that trans women are. Yeah, so close. They're so close. And yet, hmm, for just a little bit of cash. For just a little bit of cash, you could be an idiot on Steven Crowder's show. And then, ooh, ooh. Yeah, and then the cringe takes start coming out. Yeah, I only find, oh, I only find actual women attractive. But that's the whole thing. Do you see the, just the fundamental dishonesty in this presentation? It's all in the framing because she lies about what she actually says. And that is why you can literally go back and find just example after example after example of Ariel Scaricella being a transphobe, being a fucking turf. And yet, then she tries to pretend like it's it's all of her own fans who got mad at her about this that that are the ones who are wrong. It's that image of like of like uh, of of uh, uh, Principal Skinner where he's like, hmm. No, surely it must be the children who are wrong. It's that. That's literally what's going on here. Except there's money involved. See, because, you know, we got over here, we got Mr. Coke money. And then we got, we got a, a gay woman who probably, you know, to some degree has experienced some of the pains of this system. And, you know, for just a little bit of cash, you could just, just dance for us a little, you know, just dance for us a little. Just, 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 yeah, just nod along while we, while we sell homophobic rhetoric. Just me being a straight white male and my privilege speaking. Yeah, yeah, I've I'll never understood I'll... where it's like, hey, I'm attracted to the feminine form and I'm rejecting. She this wants sort that of sweet Reuben money. Body yeah, the man. it's not going to happen. So I'm, she doesn't uh, have the charisma, uh, now I like women which is crazy to say. Look like men. What? 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 Think... what? What? That's just straight. That's just straight transphobia. That's just straight fucking transphobia. She was just talking about like, oh, it's because people come up to me and say I have to do, and then they just go mask off straight into transphobia. Yeah, maybe she can get on Ted Cruz pod. Yeah, yeah, that's if Ted Cruz makes it through the coronavirus. <laughs> Ted Cruz might not have a podcast because there might not be a Ted Cruz. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. I, I, I don't like that, but my understanding <laughs> yeah, right? is when they take their clothes off, they're still female. True. That's really what it comes down to. Yes. That's when this show was um, hmm. on radio, it was syndicated. And wow, was Detroit, that sounds like transphobia. One of the first conversations that I had, or the first debates in the show, I wanted to moderate because I, I didn't want to step into it, but there was a lesbian woman. Her name was Cynthia Yaki, and she was a conservative lesbian woman, actually, who had caught a lot of flack. And we got into a big fight, Cynthia Yaki, and this is how we became friends, because we talked about uh, gay marriage. And mm -hmm. I remember she got upset. Because Here we said, go. Well, I'm not pro-gay marriage. She said, what? And she freaked out. I said, hold on. See, he slipped that in. Oh, I'm not, I'm not pro-gay marriage. I'm not pro-gay marriage. Now, as, keep in mind, I want to just replay that just real quick. Let's go back a couple seconds. Cynthia Yaki, and she was a conservative lesbian woman, actually, who had caught a lot of flack. Hmm. And we got into a big fight, Cynthia Yaki, and this is how we became friends, because we talked about uh, gay marriage. And I remember she got upset Nod. because I said, mm -hmm. well, I'm not pro-gay marriage. She said, what? And she freaked out. I said, hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Nods I again. I think that the government should be out of the marriage running business. It should be civil unions, and then churches can recognize marriage. That way, you have all of the same equal rights, but you don't run into the complications of, for example, a pastor violating the law by saying, I refuse to marry two men or two women. And she said, right. oh, literally, okay, I understand. You now have a supposedly pro-gay OG lesbian, an OG lesbian sitting here and nodding along as Steven Crowder pushes the 1990s era propaganda about civil unions and separate but equal. What the fuck? 
Yeah, right. Let's leave it to the churches. But I mean, the crazy thing is we all know that Republicans are like this. We all know that they would love, they would love to repeal gay marriage. They fucking hate gay people. We know this is true. Even if they fucking mask it and they put their little honklers down in the Milo Yiannopoulos, you know, I mean, well, we can get to that, but they put their little, their stupid little dog whistles and memes in Blair White's chat and blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, they would fucking go right along with it if the evangelical right said, ah, yeah, actually, we're going to re-legalize conversion therapy. We're going to, yeah, yeah, let's do that. And here she, here's this bitch fucking sitting here nodding along. OG lesbian, remember? OG lesbian, uh, uh, Ariel Scarcella, nodding along to, to fucking Steven Crowder uh, talking about how we should have separate but equal and civil unions. Yeah, Milo. Milo is let's Milo is fucking crab. Let's be real about that. Milo is rip. But that's exactly what happens. I mean, that's the thing. That is the ultimate thing that's so pathetic about these sort of grifts, which is that they never fucking care for you. They don't give a shit. Steven Crowder, first of all, I don't think he gives a shit about anybody but himself. But he certainly doesn't give a shit about a quote-unquote OG lesbian who's left the left that she was never a part of. This is just like, this is like HD bootlicking right here. Just unbelievable levels of bo bootlicking. And it's to try and honor the institution, but also all people have equal rights that you think they should be separate. I said, yes. Oh, yeah. Separate but equal. Separate but equal. And then Remember she that. brought to mm -hmm. my attention, uh, at this point, this was many years ago, trans Ooh. women in women-only spaces and mm. how there was actually kind of a, a little bit of a rift between more Oh, boy. Here we go. And that became yes. a knockdown, drag-out brawl on our show. And for me, was a real awakening. It seems to me like this is like the Jets and the Sharks. You guys have yeah. been going at it for a while. Weird. Yeah. And here we go. And now she's nodding along with this sort of like drop the T narrative that like, oh yeah, trans people are this malignant cancer on the LGBT movement. This is what this guy's trying to push. That's what he's just fucking pushed right here. And she's gone and nodded right along with it. What the fuck? Yeah, she's in too deep to push back. And he, yes, this is literally, this is the one of the best examples of like political operation from Steven Crowder that I've ever seen. He knows he has 100% control over this discussion and he's just pushing Overton. Like this is a true Overton window like shift move. I don't know if he's going to succeed. Her video didn't get a whole lot. I don't know if Crowder ran this on his own channel. Um, I don't know if his, his viewers would even tolerate him talking to a lesbian. But yes, you're 100% right, Marinara. Like, this is an example of somebody who is so far deep in that he can make her nod along and dance to anything. This is the show monkey thing. This is what I, I used to rant about this years ago on my old Twitter account. I used to rant about how people would become show monkeys for the right. And it's the token thing, but it's almost a little more because it's not just a token. They're not just representing like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, a gay conservative. Ding. It's also... Um, now they're carting you out and they're poking you with a stick and they're making you dance. Here, you get to keep living. You get to have, you know, people not mad at you. But, but, uh, you better keep dancing. You better keep fucking dancing. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Go tell them how we should repeal gay marriage. Go, 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 go tell them how the AIDS crisis was gay people's fault. Yeah, totally. Yeah, come on. Poke, poke. Yep, it's pathetic. Let's keep going. Yeah, I think, I think, again, like, it, it depends on the situation. Mm -hmm. I don't think, like, tr a trans, for me, any trans woman that makes mm. an attempt at, at looking female, mm -hmm. you know, whether that's just dressing or, or, you know, they go on hormones or they have breasts or, or something, I, I would treat them as a woman. Like, but if, if somebody identifies as a trans woman and looks like you, yes, they're still a trans woman, but you can't expect the world. <laughs> like, if you have gender dysphoria, it's, it, you have it. Like, right. you can't get rid of it. Remember how just like 20 seconds ago? Yeah, the world, me, exactly. Remember how like 20 minutes ago or like 20 seconds ago, she was just talking about how, uh, oh yeah, she's like, when I take off their clothes, I want them to have a female body. You see how um, just weaselly it is? It's like, oh yeah, well, they got to at least try. So they keep, it's this Mott and Bailey bullshit, but there's like 15 of them that they just jump between where it's like, yeah, I want them to look female when they take off their clothes. But hey, I'm not crazy. If you at least try, 
then I will pass, give you the rubber stamp of approval on what is womanhood. You do realize that like in the nineties, even, and, and certainly earlier that, uh, that lesbians were constantly like made fun of as being mannish and men and stuff like that because they didn't, they didn't do what they were supposed to do. They didn't, they didn't fit to the gender stereotypes of the United States at that time or in the world for that matter. So like she's literally weaponizing the same shit that was used against lesbians in the past against trans women now. So this is the whole thing that's really crazy. And this is why I get so mad is because it, it really is being a traitor. It really is being a true traitor. Even if she never really did anything for the progressive left, she rode off the coattails of better people and is now trying to pull the ladder up behind and weaponizing the exact same shit that has been weaponized against her own people. Against them. Against a subsection of those people. People like me. Trans people. People like me who are trans. Um, but you can't expect the world to treat you, you know, like as a woman, like that's not how it works. Hmm. There's to me, it's, it's not an identity. It's an experience. Right. Um, again, you, there you we have it again. Do you think she should be like treated a as a woman and expect to experience it as she's a woman? Not a that's typical not how, how it like, works. Right. You know, people can't she see inside look, your uh, head. Like a typical woman. Um, and a lot of uh, some trans women, a, a lot of trans women are very understanding. I have a lot hmm. of friends that are like, listen, like, I don't think I belong in sports. Look at me. Like I, I shouldn't be in female sports. It took for, I took till I was 40 to transition. Yeah. Like, and they get it. Um, and Chud, now, Chud, know, Chud Logic brought up a great point at that. It's like, how many trans people are pursuing a career in sports at age 40? Oh, I just feel bad because I mean, uh, like, can you imagine like being, being her friend? I, I, first of all, I highly doubt that, that any of this is true. I think she's probably just pulling this out of her ass completely, but I mean, come on now. Really? You're just going to sit there and just be like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're so manly. Ha ha ha. Me too. Ha ha me. I, uh, that is so sad. That is so pathetic and sad. Come on now. That is so sad. Fuck. Because for the sake of being woke, we have, you know, anybody that identifies as a woman, they're being, you know, transferred to women's prisons. You know, they're, they're yep. the, the two, the two young trans women, the two black, I think they're black girls in Connecticut, mm. you know, are, are competing in female sports. They haven't yep. transitioned at all. Though it's a hilarious like snapshot. <laughs> it is a hilarious yeah, snapshot. Just a picture of two HRT. trans women crossing the finish line and then yeah. like yards behind them, women just struggling right? with all their might. It's not even close. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's okay. So, for the record, for anyone here in chat who doesn't already know this, um, that entire thing was all bullshit, first of all. And secondly, so we don't even need to, you can dive into that specific example if you ever want to. Guess what? They're fucking lying as they always do. But secondly, they're overlooking a huge thing, which is that trans people have been allowed in the Olympics for fucking ever. Yeah, that's true. Lady Raincloud, thank you for coming by. Nice to see you. Um, but yeah, uh, let's see. Yeah, she is the queen bigot McTurfee Turface. Yeah, I 100,000% agree. Um, we've been going over this video and talking about how um, she has been weaponizing the same language that look at this look at this grinning fool over here he has her so on the ropes like this image right here should just be this should be the image of what it means to become a token to become a, a, a to become a show monkey you've got a grinning motherfucker over here funded by coke money and just a desperate quote unquote og lesbian taking the exact same wording that was used against gay people in the 90s, in the 80s, in the fucking 70s, right against trans people today. And even as it goes on, against fucking gay people. Like this is in my tweet last night. I mentioned specifically that she's fucking anti-gay at this point. She's literally helping Crowder. She's granting legitimacy to Crowder claiming that the correct position on marriage is still separate but equal is that oh maybe maybe you can have civil unions not only does that like is that whole we we, we, we argued this out for what like all throughout the 2000s like in the run-up to the legalization of gay marriage like, we've been over this all right yeah we all know the problems in that but it's like here we go necromancy 
I guess that's what it is. I guess you become a token and you're sacrificed in order to help resurrect old rhetoric. That just appears to be the cycle right now. And this is exactly what she's doing. And everyone, everyone should have no fucking illusions about exactly what's going on here, which is that a quote unquote OG lesbian is signing on to Steven fucking Crowder pushing homophobic rhetoric to recognize the biological differences that 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 we have with them like yeah we mentally like in some way we don't we're not sure yet that like our brains could be similar All that rope but that so doesn't negate rope. that our bodies are not you right. know like there's a re it, it's not gender segregated sex uh, sports are sex segregated for a reason yeah. it has nothing to do with being trans mm, right. people say it's trans oh it has nothing to it do with being trans huh if you didn't let trans women that weren't transitioned in any way if you didn't let them compete in the male division, then that you oh well they're not allowed to compete because they're trans. Right? Well, yeah. No, they are. Mm -hmm. Um, how do you ident like? What's your political leaning now? How would you describe? Oh, it? I don't here's even the fun know. part. I I disagree a lot. <laughs> I disagree a lot with a lot of the Democrats. Oh yeah, yeah. No, let her infuriate like, you. Just I wait. Consider myself Just wait. A Watch this shit. Right. Because I I still have some progressive beliefs. I I don't know what my political affiliation is at the moment mm. because I don't follow it close enough and I don't actually. Right. Yeah. It's not like I just read headlines and believe everything they say. If I'm gonna actually, if I'm gonna support somebody, I'm gonna look deep into what they, right, what they're preach, what they're preaching, or what they say they're gonna do. Um, and I don't have, I don't currently have the time for that. I travel a lot and I work a lot. But okay. again, like I'm pro-choice. You know. Weird cut, but uh, yeah. Look at this. So now we have it. Look at they've they've even cut they even took Stephen Crowder out of the picture just so they can have her going on and on and on about oh i don't know where i stand politically i don't just read the cover this is the, like i'm gonna dig in do you think that she's ever dug into a single story about a trans athlete or do you think she just reads the uh reads the headlines from uh, crowder's videos hmm? which one do you think is the case because i bet that if she'd ever done any reading any honest reading she would come to the same conclusion that, you know, most of the reasonable, pe reasonable people in the world is, which is that, oh, oh, actually, you know, a lot of sports have had this shit figured out for a long time because, tr as it turns out, trans people have been in existence for a long time. Um, and places like the, the, the Olympics already have entire, entire fucking panels of doctors that have worked on this shit and come up with working solutions. Trans people can compete in the Olympics. Did you know that? There's not even been, there's never been a trans athlete who's like swept a category ever. But they've been in the Olympics for a long ass time. You ever think that if it was really just magical, like they seem to say like, oh yeah, they're just these conveniently notice that they pick on the black trans women. Weird, huh? Weird how that works out a lot. Weird, weird how that's the focus a lot, isn't it? Um, but yeah, oh yeah, these, they're just destroying everybody, no contest. Meanwhile, the Olympics, uh, fucking decades and decades of letting trans people participate in the Olympics that have never taken a gold medal, just, oh, you know, it's, oh, it must just be the Olympics. The Olympics have a disenchanting aura. They take off the trans magic that makes you win sports automatically, apparently. No, no, what it is, is that Ariel Scaricella is a lying fucking bitch. She's lying about re how she reads things. She's lying about how she digests information. And St and she's helping Steven Crowder create little clips like this where he can use this to mislead people into thinking, oh yeah, we got a lesbian on our side. I don't need to feel bad. I'm not, a, I'm not dehumanizing people. This lesbian says what I'm doing is okay. It's fucking bullshit. I'm obviously pro-LGBT rights. Um... Wait a minute. Wait, wait, what? Pro LGBT, you got the T in there. What T rights do you support? Yeah, pro LGBT rights. She means, oh no, no, but but see again, immediately, almost instantaneously, we have an example of this fucker going right up and just lying straight to your face, as if this whole ten minutes hadn't happened. See, there's this weird thing. Um, conservatives just take this shit. And they, they listen to it and they go, <laughs> and they guffaw along with it. And they never actually think about it. And that's why Steven Crowder can run something like this with no pushback. Someone who just said that they don't agree with the T part of LGBT. And now we're talking about, oh, I support LGBT rights. Like, which one?
Like, which rights do you support is what I want to know. I want to hear what, what T rights Ariel Saracella has ever fought for or, or backed. Because I'm going to guess it's basically none. But, that was, but that was going to be my next question. Was, if not, what is it that you see yourself not lining up with sort of Republicans on? Like, where would you see sort of the, the big uh, sort of divergence? Hmm. I think I probably just women's rights, maybe. Like okay. what, what I would consider maybe, women's rights to maybe be. Maybe women's oh, rights. Yes. Maybe she could be moved on women's I'm rights. Just, I know a lot of people are pro, uh, uh, yeah, are not pro-choice. Yes. From what I understand on that side, which, which I understand their point. Hey, props to Crowder. Props to Crowder here. At least he's being fucking honest. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely not pro-abortion. I'm not pro-choice. So now we have the OG lesbian signing off on anti-feminist rhetoric as well. Anti-abortion rhetoric. Look at how much this bastard. This has got to be one of his best interviews he's ever done. And, and Stephen Crowder is a shit interviewer. But as far as politics go... This has got to be this has got to be one of the best ones he's ever done. This is just free shit. I come from because I watched your video on that, but hmm. um, I I obviously like I, I yeah it's just it's sure no and I, I, I and I'm not expecting yeah. you to agree with me by the way you can come on and yeah, call yeah. me a dick people do no, it on my no, show no. all the time you mentioned too in your video oh, oh if anybody can order, ever right? if anybody can ever find an example on his show where he's been called a dick by anybody he invited on. I, I swear to God, I will straight up, I will I will give you, I will PayPal you $10. If you can find a single clip on his show where a guest on his show called him an idiot or gave him any major pushback, I would love to see it. Steven Crowder always does softball interviews, always. So if anybody can find that, this is, I know there's, there's, there's eight people watching. That's eight people who have the opportunity to get $10, 10 crisp dollar dues straight from me, if you can find it. And specifically yeah. with the LGBT, like who's allowed to speak? I think you said something like who is allowed to speak and for how long? Can you explain <laughs> what that is to people mm. who may not know? Yeah. The, the, the interesting thing about, so everybody's, you know, obsessed with intersectionality, which I think in, in theory is great, right? Like everybody should be given the opportunity to speak. Um, but that's not what happened on the progressive left. Um, not everybody is given mm. an equal voice, right? Every, whoever's the most oppressed is given you know so 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 much to say like i have we had whoever's the most oppressed says ariel scarcella who opened this interview talking about how oppressed she was for being a right-winger lesbian and then and now she's and, and she's had 20 minutes to talk on steven crowder's show and she's talking about oh, oh yeah yeah we don't get to talk at all we don't get to freaking talk at all it's whoever's the most oppressed okay the panel okay. in, in Mardi Gras. Yeah, okay. And we had a trans woman post op who, you know, presents female who who only dates women. Yeah. Um there's some buy in there. There's some buy in right, for this right. trans woman. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And she was Asian and she was an Aboriginal, you know, for, from Australia. Okay. And even she got sh for being on the panel. Why? Mm. You know, why wasn't there why wasn't there a black person? Why wasn't there a disabled person? What? Literally comments that we got. Weird. And we're like, there's only room. It's almost like panels are supposed to inform people and give a, a, a diverse viewpoint and that there might be a legitimate criticism by saying that, hey, a panel at an LGBT event, man, look at that freeze frame. Um, yeah, that's intersex. Yeah, I agree. I think that, I think that um, Voltaire, yeah, that's like a yeah, great pause frame. Mm, man, gotta love that. Um, but yeah, Voltaire, um, that, that term isn't really used anymore. It doesn't really refer to anything specific. Um, and yeah, it is in the extended LGBTQIA+. I often use LGBT+, plus, um, or LGBT, um, just because of, just literally just wrote, um, you know, having said it a lot of times. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, intersex is very, very, very much included in the LGBT movement. Um, not that, not that Ariel Saracella even believes that intersex people could be a thing because I'm sure half of the people that she's, uh, dunked on, which she regularly insults people for their appearance, by the way, she hangs out with, um, she's done entire videos that were just making fun of somebody, how somebody looked on the internet. Like she just, no, no, no real reason to be mad at them. Just making fun of how they look. It's pretty fucked up. But yeah, by the way, talking about how she looks. 
Let's 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 take a moment and we'll stoop down to her level because this bitch, she looks like shit. For three people on the stage, like this is like wow. they literally spent like ten thousand dollars just to fly a few of us out here. Like we don't have this money. They want to complain. That's yeah. literally what mm. they want. Nothing That's nothing right, yeah. is woke enough for them. They want to bitch. They they want to complain. They want to they want to seem like they're morally mm. superior, you know, for being as inclusive as possible, which is why all of them are queer and pansexual. LGBT acceptance is down by like yeah, she probably 15% doesn't. or something like that. You brought that up in a video. In like, years. Uh, just, in, just, in the first yeah. time in how many years? Like 15 years or 10 years or something. Like something crazy. Oh, we totally Which are. makes sense. Yes, we are, over the last ten, Over the last five years, um, every everything became super offensive to everybody. And nobody could even ask questions yeah. about LGBT people anymore without worrying about being offended. Well, offensive. It, was, it was like under... You know, you know, I don't know about you guys, but all I see online is is lgbt plus people yeah these are bargain bin takes like she's scraping the bottom of the barrel um and and again crowder is just loving this because she has come in with nothing to say and he can just make her agree with whatever because she wants to be back on the show again she wants to be relevant again she wants to be relevant after she destroyed her own audience after she alienated people who actually liked her and who saw her as some sort of representative of themselves you know, in the public eye. And, you know, here we go again. Just bargain bin takes. Barack Obama toward the end there, Black Lives Matter and, and you had Ferguson in Baltimore. And then uh, Americans said that I was uh, race relations about, oh, were wait. the most strained in their lifetime. And actually now under mm -hmm. super racist Donald Trump, both black and white Americans say that race relations are better than four years ago. <laughs> who says that? I think that makes sense. Yeah, makes who the sense. fuck says I mean, that? It's the same thing because it, it went from everyone who didn't vote for Obama was racist, right? To in a if you didn't vote for Hillary Clinton, you're sick. In a survey of only white people uh, who support Trump, People said that race relations are better. Okay. Okay, Steven Crowder. Texas, and so then it became the I think that makes sense. To the race yeah. War with, with uh, you know, uh, identity mm -hmm. politics. All feels zero yeah, facts. Yeah, no, I get that. Like, the same thing, I think a good comparison would be the Me Too movement. As good as it is for women, it's also hurting women because oh. people are afraid to hire women. I forgot about yeah. this part. <laughs> and they're, and they're afraid to... <laughs> and that's women's fault? Holy shit! <laughs> Holy fucking shit. So, so let me get this straight. Let, let me just, I got to tweet this shit out. Like I got to tweet this shit out. How do we, how do we fucking do this? Let me just, let me just get here. Let's just, let's just get this clip. I'm going to live tweet. For yeah. You guys. Yeah. No, I get that. Like the same thing. I think the same thing here. Let's go. I'm going to, I'm going to save this one for later. Let's get this timestamp. Actually, I'll write it in my notebook and I'll grab it later. It's 12, 1209 is the timestamp. I'm going to post this shit later. You watch. Cause I'm going to make a video on this too. I think. Because I really want to take, I really want, I really want people to have resources to take this bitch down. Because let's be real, I'm done. I'm I'm tired of her shit. I think y'all are too, probably. Let's take a look. Twelve oh nine. Me too movement. Because this is some crazy shit. So let me ask you this. So Ariel Saracella is trying to say here that the Me Too movement has gone too far. By the way, uh, they just, they just finally got a conviction on Harvey Weinstein, who has been abusing women in Hollywood uh, for longer than most of us have been alive. And also, I want to let you know just how widespread like Harvey Weinstein's like uh, s sexism and rape rapist being, rapist hood, has been known. I went to film school in fucking New York where Harvey Weinstein actually has a lot of involvement my professors, where I went to school, some of them had relationships, like had work relationships with Harvey Weinstein. And it was known in our school that Harvey Weinstein was a monster. This was a long time ago, y'all. A long ass time ago. So that's what, when people say that the Me Too movement has gone too far, that men are afraid to hire women because... um the women might expose that they're raping people. Again, OG lesbian. OG lesbian, second wave feminist. Ariel Sarcella believes that the Me Too movement has gone too far because uh, apparently men might fucking not hire women because they don't want to get exposed for being a rapist. 
Yeah. That's pretty fucking yikes, guys. That's pretty fucking yikes. Or as opposed to the race war with, with uh, you know, uh, mm -hmm. identity politics. Yeah, yeah. No, I get that. Like, the same thing, I think a good comparison would be the Me Too movement. As good as it is for women, it's also hurting women because people are afraid to hire women. Yeah. <laughs> and, they're, and they're worried about, <laughs> what if I say the wrong thing? Am I going to get Me Too'd? Um, <laughs> so I think, again, I think, yeah, you, the, the line is, is being crossed in multiple ways. And I think it's, I think that everybody, hopefully, I want, I want to believe that everybody means well, um, but it's not coming, maybe it's not coming across that way or it's not being seen that way. Um, I think most people mean well. And then I think there are some yeah. people who are, you know, have a little more sinister motives. Not many, but there are people hmm. who sometimes misinform or manipulate the general masses who mean well. So I think probably a lot of LGBTQ, whatever acronym we want to use mm -hmm. this day, uh, people mean well and they're being oh, yeah. told <laughs> that everyone hates them and so they become angry. They think that everybody hates them because the word, because words like sexist and transphobic and bigot and terp are being so overly blown at this that's right that's right remember it is the fault of uh of people who have come up with a word for something that the thing is bad so if you point out that somebody is hitting you with a stick and you say that's fucking aggression dude and then these people respond and go aggression what is this some kind of buzzword Oh, now people are going to be scared that you're going to get hit with a stick because you came up with a word for the thing that was happening to you. This is so crater-brained. This is so dishonest. Like, it's so... Yeah. Like they, they're using it to mean literally, like, I... Like You've been called I, a terp. So explain that to people who don't ooh, know. J.K. Ooh, Rowling oh and God. yourself, you get good. to carry Watch that shit. Yeah, I have something in common with the queen. Um, <laughs> the queen? <laughs> JK Rowling is the queen now? JK Rowling, the queen of the old OG lesbians. <laughs> We've both been called the turf. And that name sticks with you, and that's it. What, what, is, what um, is that for people who, because a lot of people so, don't know because so it's a silly. Turf, right. A ter turf is, is, stands for, it's an acronym, stands for Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminism. Mm -hmm. um, and in some ways, I am a turf. You know, like. We got it, y'all. We don't even need to clip chimp it. We got it. Boom! Right here. Motherfucker got. What's that? That mean? We got him, boys. Boom! We got this motherfucker. Look at this shit. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, totally. Let me get you that link. Yeah, boom! We got her. We got her, boys. Here we go. Here's the here's the here's this fucking video. This video is shit. And you, everybody, anybody who feels like having a take on it, you should take the shit out of this and feel like literally this video just did, I promise you, just discredit it as quick as you can. Not that it's even hard to do, but the faster that we make sure that this grifter can never have a a, a career being a right wing turf talking, you know, talking head, the better off we're all gonna be. Because can you imagine listening to this tier shit? all over YouTube for the next 10 years. Because if they let her, be, if, if she swings into it, she's going to be able to do the fucking Milo thing. Now, of course, the end game for any, you know, token show monkey person who, who uh, t accepts this sort of devil's bargain with the right and says, yeah, I'll humiliate myself and work against my own interests uh, to help, you know, t for, for a paycheck and to help you, you push your agenda. Yeah, definitely. Those people always end up in the bin. Look at Milo Yiannopoulos. Do you think anybody gives a shit about Milo Yiannopoulos now? No, the moment, the fucking moment that they could get dirt on him that was no longer convenient for him to be a front runner, there is no loyalty. There is nobody there to catch him. He's now like, like selling himself literally on eBay because he's been banned on every platform. And there's nobody who will help him get a re get restarted because nobody gives a shit because that he's been yeah begging on Telegram literally e, e begging on Telegram, it's insane and they always do this they fucking always do this, these people, will leave you behind in a minute never ever ever, accept their devil's bargain now I should say, um, Jamie from the Antifada. Um, and who is on the majority report as well, um, made a great point, which is that anytime you're working with somebody who's more right wing than you, you need to remember that unless they swing left, which is very unlikely, 
in most cases, that you are making a temporary alliance and you need to treat it like that. This shit is not that, by the way. This shit is just straight up selling out. In electoral politics, you have to work with people more right-wing than you all the time. But you always have to remember, that shit's a temporary alliance. This shit, this shit is a devil's goddamn bargain. And you never have to engage in this. You never, ever have to grant legitimacy to people like Steven Crowder. Steven Crowder, who put the F slur on a shirt and sold that to all of his goddamn fans. Steven Crowder, who's a blatant homophobe, who has made countless videos directly bullying a gay man for being gay. Yeah, Jamie from the Antifada. Yeah, me too. Don't worry. We all do. Jamie's amazing. Um, and let me just, I, I got to say, let me just let me just link her on Twitter because she's got the best Twitter name ever. Um, let me just grab this real quick. I'm going to give you guys her Twitter because she's got the best Twitter name ever. I think she's still got it. Big structurals. Look at this. Big fucking structurals. I goddamn love it. Here. Everybody, y'all should follow Jamie. Um, she's awesome. She runs the Antifada and she's a co-host uh, or a producer actually on Majority FM. I didn't know she was the producer. That's fucking awesome. Um, but she's she always has good shit to say on, on both her shows. On both the shows she's on. Um, but yeah. Yeah, Jamie's awesome. Um, but yeah, let's continue this a little bit more. Let's get into this a little more. I because got feminism doesn't always include trans women. Right. Like, not every conversation has to involve them. Um, but that shouldn't be called, mm. like, that shouldn't be a bad thing. That's just recognizing, listen, sometimes you're not involved in this conversation. Like, trans women don't experience periods. They don't know what it's going to be. You know so, so, I just want to point out the sort of... Uh, conflation that's going on here between political issues and private issues how many times <laughs> what is this the, the devil rat cringy warrant tattoos yeah well we can do that we can absolutely do that that is so cringy we'll do that after this we got to finish this shit though um i mean talk about the conflation how many times have you ever seen first of all uh periods i mean we wait a minute hold on a second wait a second we talked about periods today. Me, a trans woman, talked about periods today and how it was an important issue. And I didn't fucking erase shit. I said, in women's prisons, they strictly ration tampons. So what the fuck is... I'm a nobody and, I can, and I'm even doing this. Every trans woman I've ever seen who has any sort of public platform always, not only, not only do they work some of the hardest people fighting for feminism I've ever met. But also, they are always very sensitive to cis women's issues. So this is just so bullshit. It's so yeah, bullshit. They, should, they shouldn't be in the conversation with, you know, with abortion rights or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, there's right. some certain things where they don't belong in those spaces, right? Right. Um, or certainly belong weird. in spaces so, presenting a woman's point of view. Exactly. Exactly. That's hmm. my point. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Like I will always treat a yeah. Woman exactly. As a woman, right. But the line for me, the line is dog wrong whistle. when it comes to sex. <laughs> dog like whistle. Sex advantages, maybe, is what I'm what I'm trying to say. Yeah. You know, women in sports, or you know, people that or people that are taking advantage of the self identification system. I get called turf for that because yeah. I denounced someone. I denounced men. I think they're men. Or maybe they are trans. Whoa! 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 That's the second one. We got her twice. Explicit. I think they are men. Ariel Saracella on trans women. Oh shit! Holy shit! I total. I didn't even catch that one the first time through this video. Y'all, what the fuck? <laughs> she can't even help herself. What the fuck? Trans women. Who knows? There could be crazy, crazy trans people out there too, right? It's, you know. Could be. <laughs> turf is a slur. Turf is a slur. Turf is a slur. Uh, I'm not a turf. Well, I actually am a turf. Uh, I'm not a transphobe. I actually am a transphobe. But I hate it. I hate being called what I am. Wah. My friend Welcome back. One says inter uh, yeah, is right? intersectional. Um, yeah. Th there's bad people in, in all walks of life. And what? It, 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 but in this you case, came back I, at I just the right time. Are... Deli, we got her. We fucking got her. Listen to this. I'll just write, rewind. Let's just let's just have a quick replay here. 
advantages maybe is what I'm what I'm trying to say yeah you know, women in sports or you know people that or people that are taking advantage of the self-identification system I get called turf for that because yeah. I denounced someone I denounced men I think they're men or maybe they are trans women who knows there could be trans, crazy trans people that's what I'm talking about boom right there Boom. There too, right? That's all I gotta say. You know, Sorry, we just be. had to do a re of, remix of that friend, because come on, that's says, too fucking good. A stupidity is intersectional. Um, yeah. Th there's bad people in, in all walks of life. Put your foot down and be like, I'm gonna we're skip different. ahead a little bit. That doesn't mean you're less than, but it means we're different. And we have different problems and different issues. And like, there should still be men's rights, like you know, men's right, men's rights activists. And there's still men's issues, and there, there's still women privilege. You know, it's okay women to privilege. recognize all of those things. Mm -hmm. And, and not, you know, focus on trying to, to... So now we've gone, her her problem with uh, with trans women, besides the fact that she doesn't think that they're women. Yeah, she's just checking all of them. She's now hawked MRA bullshit. She's now hawked transphobic bullshit. She's literally completely fabricated stories. She has lied about other stories that actually happened. I mean... I mean, I think gender issues are all kind of tightly in entangled. But yeah, what the fuck? How did the fuck does she? What is she talking about now? Like, like she's talking about trans people abusing self-identification to somehow impact men's rights. What an insane. Oh, hello. Thanks for the follow. Um, I don't really know what your username means, but thanks for the follow, yo. Um, really appreciate it. We are so close, guys. Just a quick second. I'm just gonna take a break from this. Um, but we're like, like five followers away from fucking affiliate. This is crazy. I'm going to do crazy shit. You guys just wait. This stream is going to get fucking pretty. It's going to be beautiful. And we're going to keep blowing the shit out of fucking idiots like Ariel Scarcella. Turf grifters. And guess what? I don't have a problem with you can't even fucking bust me on that because she fucking admitted to it right here. America's red, white, and blue, isn't it? Yep. White people no longer exist. Yeah, white people is a, is a construct. There's a hot take. We're not going to go into it, but it is. Whiteness is a construct. Anyway, let's finish this. You know, there's a difference between bringing everybody up and together hmm. and like saying everybody is welcome and, and everybody like has a voice. But that's not, to me, that's not the way they're positioning it. They're positioning it as this person, oh, it, just you know, him. this black trans woman is, block him and report you know, him. is super oppressed. And this trans woman and this lesbian, well, not even lesbian, they never include lesbians. And this bisexual gay, you know, or this gay guy or queer person. Um, Wait, what? Like, they need to, they have, they have all the rights to speak and they need to be at the right. top and da, da, da. And, and you it's should like, shut up and listen because you're and not. you should never... shut up and listen. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's how it is. And it's like, that's to me. I, I agree. I agree with Stephen Crowder. You should shut well, up and listen. Worst, I, I feel, okay, put it this way. It's gotten to the point where literally, I'm not even kidding. I'm that's not a unibrow. Maybe Burns. That's not fair. That's a that's a lock of hair, okay? I will give her credit for that. She may look like the dog from fucking Lady and the Tramp. Um, she may act like a like a horrific inhuman bitch, but she doesn't have a unibrow. Yeah, she's not she's not like I don't think we're not gonna do that, but you could say that, Fawn. You could say that. But yeah, no. I mean, maybe Burns. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but um, I mean, I guess if incoherence is like on point, hell yeah. I mean, I guess more power to you. If you fucking love that incoherent rambling, incoherent like 90s era homophobia, fuck yeah. Yeah, it is. It's true. It ages you. She did a video and holy you know, shit, she's looking LGBT old. friendly city. I felt so uncomfortable at the Pride Parade because I was scared. Here we go. That, like, Watch young... this kid or an older trans person or whatever was going to come up to me and like like have at it like honestly. Whoa. now now this is some po you know what's his name paul joseph watson shit pjw never leaves his house she's like oh no the trans women they're gonna attack me this is the this is that uh, the trans mafia thing this is the trans mafia one yeah too blown away to even oof there's no oofs left all of my oofs have been spent Honestly, and I like I had I yes because they so would, not, because they would recognize you or just because they identified that you were the only biological female there. Me. Whoa! No, 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 no. Whoa, because, yeah, Stephen yeah, Crowder. Being biological female. Uh, yeah, because, oh. I was me, because they would look at that. She even had to try and dodge out of that one because he just dropped that one on her and she had to try and shuffle it. 
Oh, because you're the only biological female here? Oh, oh no, 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 not because of that. That's not caution, maybe Burns. That's idiocy. That's like me saying, oh, man, I really hate it when I go to, um, man, I really, I really fucking hate it when I go to the suburbs because um, white people are going to fucking kill me. Actually, <laughs> trans mafia will attack me. Yeah, I, like last I checked, trans mafia killed my entire family because I once said trans man when I meant trans women. Oh, God, help me. The trans mafia is coming for me. Oh, <laughs> My Patreon is over there. <laughs> I'm so sad. Anyway, I hate trans women. <laughs> anyway, please support my Patreon. Yeah. Clickbait is the hot girl ends up being some ugly trans person. Hey, that's not very nice. I'm not ugly. I'm not ugly. That's mean. Fuck you. If anybody disagrees with NeatLord69 in chat, you can go ahead. Go ahead. All trans people, that's so rude. Get this fucker out of here. Yeah, look at this shit. That shit, bada boom, out they go. Fun, get rid of them. Get rid of them, please. Thank you. 600 second time lord. No, no, no. Uh, Fun, if you can switch that to a ban, we don't need that shit. Yeah, we don't. We really don't need that level of shit. Yeah, don't time them out. No, 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 Deli, it's okay. Yeah, ban them, ban them. Yeah, see, okay, by the way, just so you guys know, that's the shit that's going to get banned. If you come in here and just say stupid, insulting shit, uh, yeah, no, you're good. Don't don't apologize. You just did what you're supposed to. Oh, was he just in Chud's chat? Yeah, Chud, uh, there seems to be a lot of bleed over of people targeting Chud. Chud is like super pro-trans, and that's awesome as fuck. So, by the way, everyone, anyone here who doesn't know Chud, oh, did he? He just made fart noises? Oh, so he's a mega cringe. Wow, they're so cringe. Oh, yeah, so... If you guys are ever wondering why there's like a plethora of transphobes all over the place right now, first of all, there's always transphobes all over the place. But when people like this motherfucker come in, it's because all of their buddies, all of their friends have gotten banned off of every single platform. They got, they don't got Nick Fuentes no more. They don't got fucking Milo Yiannopoulos. They don't got fucking Richard Spencer or any of those other bullshit. All of them, rip, gone. Yeah, he's like five. But I mean, they're all mentally five. It's ridiculous. I mean, these people are so stupid. Anyway, let's continue with... Oh, here. Trans Mafia ruined my entire neighborhood. Yeah, fart noise. By selling bootleg estrogen to all the little boys and trans girls. Yeah, exactly. Sure, criticize a real woman for being... A real woman for being concerned about her spaces. Oh, I mean... Maybe Burns. That's so silly. She's not concerned about her spaces. She's going on Steven Crowder to grift. She has no concern for spaces. Her her argument, she's never made a single argument in this video. Not one. Also, I have a feeling that you have a very stupid, idiot definition for real, real woman. I have a feeling that you probably have a really stupid one. All right, guys. I will be right back, chat. Just give me one second. Yeah, no, no. Deal with the chuds in chat for a second. I'm going to hit the bathroom. I'll be right back. And we will continue this shit. So enjoy. Hey. Oh. Ooh. Yikes. We might have another ban here already, which is fine. I, I welcome them to come in and get banned. Um, Guys, if these people, if any of these fuckers who come in, these people who come in and raid. Hey, thanks for the follow. Hey, thank you, Neat Lord, for all of your uh, useless commentary. Appreciate the follow. Um, yeah, it's okay. Let him follow. That just boosts me up to him. Um, that actually helps me a lot. I appreciate it. Yeah, their subscriptions count. Yeah, totally. In fact, it would be awesome if Neat Lord and these guys, they, they should be giving me money. I deserve their money. They cause me so much trouble. Mm, man, would I love a sub. Don't worry. Um, give me just a minute. I'm going to run and hit the bathroom. You guys can can get this spicy and we'll come back and we'll talk about some of this shit because we do have to talk about it. Yeah, it's just follows for now. But hey, listen, follows build into affiliate. Affiliate builds into money. A money means I can keep talking about lefty stuff and kick these motherfuckers asses. Burp.
There we go. Audio's back. I'm back. I'm back, everyone. I'm back. Hey, everybody. I'm back. I just did a trans bathroom. Trans mafia destroyed the local police force and into gay femboy gamers. Oh, God. Not again. Not the trans mafia. Oh. Please subscribe to my Patreon. The trans mafia is going to get me at a gay pride parade, which I don't support, by the way, because, you know, gays. Anyway, Patreon. <laughs> doing good work as usual i mean i just did a trans bathroom so deal with it you know right i mean i don't know okay let's see trans bathrooms don't oh boy maybe burns you have a lot to learn about trans people are you like um are you like one of those people who really really like really is obsessed with trans people where like that's the only thing you can ever think about and that's what makes you a right winger or are you just like uninformed maybe burns because it seems like it seems like me. Yeah, watch how hard I can pee. Psh. Does that spur something within you? Yeah, I mean, that's a weird thing. I mean, it is kind of weird how conservatives love, love thinking about trans women peeing all the time. It's really fucking weird if you ask me. I don't know. That seems weird to me. Um, I don't know. See, you get some types. Some people are just misinformed. Other people have a weird obsession. And the people who have a weird obsession, I don't deal with. But people who are just misinformed... I'm always here to teach. You know this. I mean, if any of you are on my Discord, which is linked below, um, you know, I am trying to build a place where people can fucking learn. Because guess what? Um, trans people exist. I mean, if you mean that I wear clothes, yeah, most people wear clothes. I mean, I like to chill around my house in my underwear sometimes. But I mean, when I go outside, I like to wear clothes. When I'm on stream, I like to wear clothes. So I don't know what that means. Um, it's really weird. Honestly, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty boring as it comes to, you know, um, fashion. So, yeah, yeah, that's Fawn. Fawn loves dressing up. Like, she has some fucking great outfits, I gotta say. Um, but yeah, I don't know. These people are obsessed. Trans mafia deceived all the lesbians. Got them addicted to the evil biological male power of the feminine penis. Yeah, oh, yeah. Girl, like, like girl dick is insanely powerful i just hope you know that i just hope you all know that anyway let's finish this video because i don't know these people are boring recognize me and be like you're a turf like you deserve to die or something mm. ah. um it, it's no longer it's it's no longer mm. an actual safe space like if you truly mean safe space you give people the opportunity oh to thank you deli about don't blow my head up too big though please yeah. and how they truly feel without you know without worrying about other people's feelings because they get to do that all the time. Yeah. So why, sh why should I? Where well, you said that the, the, the sort of woke progressive left, and I want to delineate between mm. those and people who are sort of moderate Democrats, but the, the, the left today mm -hmm. of today. Oh, oh yeah, because Steven Crowder is somebody who cares a whole lot about moderate Democrats. I, I fucking love that shit. It's like wolf, wolf concerned about sheep well-being. Yeah, the woke progressive left versus the mainstream Democrats who are basically Republicans. And I definitely care about them. That it's become a right. haven for, and I, you use the word me mentally unstable people. Um, yes. With YouTube, those are fighting words because that cannot be applied wow. to anyone you know, with their community guidelines who even happens to be trans. Even if you're not saying they're mentally unstable because they're trans, but they're just mentally unstable mm -hmm. and happen to be trans. So can you right. sort of describe what you meant as far as... What do you mean by mentally unstable people now sort of taking over the woke left? Well, everybody's valid, right? That's like, that's the, the thing right now. No matter what you feel, that's the perfect place for somebody that that needs help that won't get it. And, yeah. that's and you know what? You know what, Ariel Saracella, you are valid too. You are fucking valid. But you're just a valid idiot. You're just a valid idiot difference between mental instability that was that is outwardly aimed you know your ires at other people where you are aggressive yeah yeah and directly isn't that funny huh lives I it's weird how, how frequently he does that yeah i, I wouldn't know how to categorize that in like the and i support him sense, in that by the way i agree with you yeah there's a difference uh oh you know, we got a choice to the point where six literally 60 year old women are having conversations in a basement hmm. in the uk about female so here we go with the stupid anecdote Andy them. shit mm -hmm. it's just they and just fucking pull this shit out of their ass you know all the time. again i say trans activists as like a broad a broad term people that are a lot of them are straight and they're just like trans women are women da, da, da. you can't say anything else man i sure wait 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 a second they're just straight they're straight 
Well, she she switched up whether she was talking about trans people or gay people there for a minute. But, you know, yeah, as a crazy trans activist, it's very rude. I'll have you know. Um, <laughs> yeah. They're literally banging on the windows, like, and, and like harassing, like physically harassing people outside. Mm -hmm. Like, there's, mm -hmm. there's videos on YouTube you can watch. Mm -hmm. Like, somebody, oh, yeah. like, punched a 60-year-old woman, like, like a, a man, like a 20-year-old man punching a 60-year-old woman because she wanted to talk. See, and that's another weird thing that conservatives do is that they if you if you are a trans person who doesn't behave um even within their own like even within their own insane purity test that they are like oh yeah this is what i actually think is valid which they never think anyone is valid if you do anything ever that's wrong in another way you would fucking they will fucking jump on you m misgender you they'll just strip it all away these people have no fucking standards they have no fucking honesty talk about to other females about like what you know what to expect with these new you know gender id laws or whatever like i'm sure you've heard of walk away and black sit yes. with like black uh, <laughs> sort of democrats and um do you think we're going to see something similar to that on a large scale do you guys remember walk away Lol. like do you feel that there's a groundswell of more people hey yeah like you maybe burns oh yeah intimidating. being being het is awesome and so is being gay if you're a head that's great for you that's fucking awesome have a baby Guess what? Gay people can have babies too. I don't know if you didn't know that. There's no nothing that doesn't. And guess what? Even trans people can have babies. And guess what? We can all make other human beings. So, I don't know. I think that's pretty fucking cool. And I have to say, maybe Burns, I am really surprised. I didn't think that you would be coming out with, like, positive, wholesome takes. Silence. I... I... I think we had Brandon, who's the gay guy. We have Blair, who's the, the trans gay woman. guy. Yeah. And now we have now Blair, we have me, the trans woman. I think we just need a bisexual person. That's Literally. Like, done with this bullshit. Literally. Um, also joining this movement. <laughs> From like, that the way, horse's there's, like, mouth. Four pillars, you know? Uh, she's honestly, a like, she's I think a we token. need that because there's so many people. She's a token. That agree. Like, I get messages on Instagram. Not the, on Twitter, yeah, the Avengers. Instagram, Facebook, email. Everything. More like, I don't even know. Like, what are they building towards? She's like, oh, the four pillars of what? of helping to prop up an ideology that will immediately strip you of any rights that you had, that will immediately make having gay sex illegal. Yeah, token gang, checking in. Ka ching ching, we're the tokens, we're ready. We're the show monkeys. We're gonna sit here and we're gonna repop, you know, repopulate the, uh, the rhetoric of the 90s. We're gonna talk about, you know, let's make the AIDS crisis happen again. Woo! Hell yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, okay. Every day because it's private. Mm -hmm. Every single day, like hundreds every day. Um, hundreds that, like, of people. Saying that, like, thank you so much for standing up for us. Oh, like, thank you. Thank you. We're not to say anything because we're going to be labeled a bigot and people are going to hate us. and people. Yeah, except, some, some people except the only difference is that Hitchens, Dawkins, Har Harris is an idiot. That's, like, like 100%. And Daniel Dennett. Hitchens, Dawkins, and Dennett all actually did something good at one point, even if they're fuckheads now. Like, I don't know that, I don't think Dennett is, like, a conservative at the moment. Maybe he is. Um, also, Hitchens, um, though he had a lot of really problematic politics, he also wasn't complete shit. And he also was a progressive. Um, Dawkins is cringe. Hawk, uh, Harris uh, is cringe. Yes, it's okay. Don't worry, Marinara. It's okay. I used to like Harris way back when I was um, first coming out of Christianity as well. Um, and then I realized he's literally an idiot. Um, and anything that he writ wrote in the past is invalidated by the, the, the crap that he spews these days. Um, yeah, he had bad takes, but he is a great writer, a great orator, and believe it or not, he did a lot of good work for the left, at least for liberalism, which was necessary and is necessary. You need to have that sort of um, open... You need to have a, that before you can actually begin to talk about... Um, before you can begin to talk about intersectional issues, which he was not very strong on. I can't even go outside anymore because the trans mafia feminized my cousin and now she's so goddamn hot. I can't help but flirt. Yo, conservatives, they're so fucking thirsty. They are so fucking thirsty. I guarantee you, I guarantee you that all of the transphobes who come in here, I would love, I would love to be able to see their fucking Pornhub searches. I promise you it would be the best, the best experience ever. People work for not-for-profits, for LGBT not-for-profits, right. and they don't agree with what with what they're doing with right. you know gender. Keep us updated because obviously uh, we want what's best for you, and, and uh, you know stay safe out there. This can be uh, this can be rough. Yeah, thank you so much, Stephen. Thank you, thank Ariel. You really All right, now I don't need to sit here for his stupid ads and bullshit. Yeah, they can't, I can't. I just can't stop. I can't stop thinking about it. Yeah, stay safe. 
wink, wink. Um, oh, it's so shitty. I mean, first of all, we all know that Steven Crowder doesn't give a fucking shit about any other human being, but he especially doesn't give a shit about a, about about a lesbian. He'll forget about her before she's out of the fucking studio. Well, she wasn't even in the studio. Yep. So that's this. That's the Ariel Saracella. Uh, yeah, cousin is trans. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, hey, that's what happens. Turns out that people can be cute, and uh, trans women are many times cute. Conservatives aren't thirsty. We don't complain about rights we already have. Yeah, you already have. You 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 already have the rights. That's the whole point. You're probably some white dude. Thirsty as fuck for girl dick, which is, hey, you know what? That's okay. That's all right. <laughs> trans folks. Yeah, trans subs. Yeah, exa literally. Yeah, literally. Yeah. We complain. You, you don't complain about rights that you already have because you already fucking have them. Unlike everybody else. Because of you. Because of people like you. There was something I was going to show. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I could do this section. This section is so good. Yeah. Politics featuring agendas. I got mine. Fuck you. Yeah, the fuck you, I got mine attitude is so strong with Ariel Saracella. Also, keep in mind, once again, she was never, ever a part of the progressive left. She was never a part of the left. She was never a progressive. She was a... At best, like like single issue person, <laughs> Biden or bust. <laughs> Trans want special rights. The victimhood mentality is accomplishing nothing. I mean, I don't see any victimhood mentality by saying that Ariel Scaricella is a complete um, grifter, and that in that video, all that she did was whine about her own personal issues, and never actually talked about um, a single argument about trans rights or anything. She literally just virtue signaled the entire time sitting there saying, oh, I get so I get so bullied by um, by these these men, these women on the Internet. It's so mean. Like, how can you watch that and then come over here and be like, oh, trans people want special. We don't, nobody wants fucking special rights. We want our rights. We want our ability to live freely and free of discrimination. Yeah, I think that's a pretty rational fucking thing to ask for. Yeah, but uh, oh, but just remember, remember when your rights clash with the ability of Aris, Ariel Saraceli to keep to uh, keep her like shitty comedy career going, uh, you should lose your rights. That's the way it goes. <laughs> I swear, mom, the trans mafia did it. B bought their gender. Bought. B Bot? Bot? What do you mean, bot? Do you think I went to the gender store and was just like, one female, please? And then they were just like, sure. Yeah, I went to the gender shop. There's a super gender market right near my house. It's fucking awesome. It totally jacked up our rent, though. Once they installed the gender market, I was like, fuck, I can get so many genders. But my rent is higher. <sighs> I only got this one because it was on offer. Yeah, they're on special. You got to get a coupon. Super gender market. Yeah, you go in and you're like, hi, I would like 10 of your spiciest genders, please. Surgery, fake hormones. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, maybe, maybe burns. <laughs> fake hormones? Wait, do you think that, do you think that like trans women take like, like, like neoestrogen? You realize that the, 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 the pills that trans people take and the injections that trans people take are literally bioidentical, dude. <laughs> This is how stupid these people are. I love it. I fucking love it when these people come into my chat because the like these these types are so good. They have such fucked up ideas and they're so confident in them. They're so fucking confident in these stupid ideas. Yeah, let me just